brief summary of the book of Hebrews. When was it written? Around AD 65 to 70. Who wrote it? Unknown. But Paul, Apollos or Barnabas most likely. Notable people and places. Christ, Melchizedek, Moses. How will we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? After it was at the first spoken through the Lord, it was confirmed to us by those who heard. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. So much the more also Jesus has become the guarantee of a better covenant. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. He is the heir of all things, the merciful and faithful high priest, the author and finisher of our faith. The book of Hebrews was written primarily to Jews who had converted to Christianity, but were now perhaps a little unsure as to the person of Christ. Jesus is portrayed throughout as the perfect revelation of God and superior to angels, Moses, Melchizedek or the priesthood and indeed was the perfect sacrifice that instituted the new covenant. The author frequently appeals to the Torah to reinforce their claims, as in the case of Melchizedek, as the Jews would be familiar with these scriptures. From chapter 10 onward, the writer warns of the perils of falling away and reverting to the old broken system of sacrifice that was only ever a temporary measure until the perfect sacrifice had come. The last chapters continue to emphasize the efficacy of Jesus and to encourage the believers to meditate on and believe what he has told them. There is no doubt that the book of Hebrews is one of the big hitters in the New Testament, for in it there is a great wealth of information regarding the person of Christ and just how exactly he was indeed the perfect sacrifice able to cover our sins. There is also a lot to be said about the peril of unbelief or falling away from the faith. These passages must be approached with great consideration as to just whom they are aimed at. Believers, intellectual believers, or wannabes who had made a confession of sorts, but when persecution came, soon rejected Christ. Thanks for dropping by. Please like and subscribe for more short Bible summaries.